Welcome to Twisted Dice, I'm Darren, and today I'm going to be going through wet palettes and how to make an absolutely friggin' awesome wet palette at a reasonable price. In fact, pretty much as cheap as I can possibly get it. Welcome to Twisted Dice. So this video is all about wet palettes, and I'm going to talk about on what I use for a wet palette. Now, in the past, I've gone and I've purchased um, several different wet palettes. I've gone from like a really, really small one. And I've found that it just for what I do and um, the painting that I do, that I run out of palette space so damn quickly. Uh, and then, you know, about at the beginning, someone recommend getting a wet palette where you can seal the lid and, you know, which was great. So, you know, I'd done that thing and I went out and purchased it. Um, but then you got the pads with it. And then when it comes to actually replacing the roof, refill pads on it i found it was an absolute friggin expensive extortion rip off on the actual palettes itself and i just thought Do you know what i ain't gonna be suckered to this and i ain't there's no way i'm gonna be spending 10 15 20 pounds on 10 parchment sheets it's not friggin worth it so i had a little had a little look and i thought Do you know what what is it really made up of and then I come up with a solution. So this next part, I'm going to show you how to make a really, really cheap wet palette. Now, at Twisted Design, so I've got abundance amounts of plastic, really useful boxes of various different shapes and sizes. Um, so this is one that I've used off one of the really useful boxes that I use for my dog, my dog toys box. Um, for my little one, he just basically goes and helps himself to his own toys. So with this, I pretty much just nip the lid off it because he doesn't need it, I do. And then all we're gonna do, it doesn't matter which side you use. Um, I, preferably, I preferably like to use, well, you can use this side or you can use this side. Uh, so again, if you don't have the really useful boxes, it doesn't really matter. You can use the lid of an ice cream tub. Um, you can use an old sandwich box. You find the lid that suits yourself. The only thing I would recommend upon it is just get one with a little bit of a lip. So when you put putting the water into it, the water is going to be captured into it. Um, but I'm going to show you a little bit later on why I prefer using this style box, uh, opposed to one that's completely flat. Because as you can see with this, you can see you've kind of got like little little valleys in here where the water can trickle into, uh, and that is very, very handy for the way I paint, and that's really crucial. So we've got our really useful box. So next up, we've got some sponge cloths. Uh, now, me personally, I prefer using sponge cloths. Other people use various different other methods. Uh, I've seen people use kitchen roll. Um, I've seen, you know, J cloths, whatever you prefer to do on this. Me personally, I prefer using the sponge cloth uh, just because of the actual properties and it's yeah, look, the cheapest chips that cost me one pound, one pound fifty for a pack of four of these, and that is going to last me friggin' ages. Uh, really, is going to last me ages. As soon as they start getting a bit grubby, just chuck it in the washing machine, man. Um, it's cheap. <laughs> That's it. So with this, all I'm going to do is stick those straight into there, like so. Nice and easy. Uh, and then next up, the next trick. So instead of going out and spending you know, um, 10, 20 pounds on 10, 20 sheets of parchment paper, which I think is an absolutely friggin' rip off. Um, go out to Tesco, go out to a shopping center, uh, anywhere that sells non stick baking paper, basically grease boot paper, parchment paper. Uh, this again, it cost me about, I think it was like a pound, two pounds. And that's a roll of 10 meters. That, will absolutely last me friggin forever. Um, that's a lie, it won't last you forever, but it does last you quite a long time. So the amount of time time I've got through this will be the equivalent of actually going, you know, going through like 20, 30 packs of the parchment paper, you know, the, the packs you can buy. Um, the beautiful thing with this, when it comes through, all you do then is just measure it up to the size you want it to. So depending on your the palette you've gone with. Now for me, I like to go big with my with my wet palette. Uh, and it's more the fact that when I'm actually doing, and the reason why I do this for, when I'm actually painting, I like to use different colors instead of having to keep replacing that parchment paper all over all the time. 
I've got that one palette there and I'm not mucking around with it. It's just there and I can just do what I need to do. Or if I'm going to take uh, one color from one transition to another, I like to have a bigger palette just so I can pull that across. Now, I know there'd be someone saying now, oh, well, you know, if I had a lid on it, then that paint's going to stay dry for longer. Yeah, look, you can. So, you know, if that's a concern for yourself and you want to make sure that, you know, that paint you can use another day, that's cool. You know, just get yourself um, a tub or, you know, a lunchbox, whatever you decide you want to do, you can, you can actually purchase one with, you know, in a sealed container if, if you want it to go down that route. No, no dramas, no problems. This is more down to you. With me, once that, once I've finished painting for the night, I'll chuck that away. And because that's just cheap as chips, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not that expensive. So next up, now you can either use the side with the parchment paper, the box. You've got the little jagged bits on there, so you can just tear it off to the way you want it to. Or for myself, I've just got purchased myself some long decorating scissors, and this is more f meant for wallpaper, cutting wallpaper, some I believe. And then all I would do with that. straight down like so and then with just some plain water so let's take that off and with the plain water all I would do is just soak my sponges now because I've got the valley because I've got the little gullies in here if there's any excess water on these sponges it's just going to fall over and go into the valleys itself. And the reason why I like the sponges for, as you can see, you kind of got, so if I pop that on, sponges are going to stay quite moist underneath this parchment paper. And as soon as I put it on, boom. Nice, easy, wet palette. And look, if you wanted to preserve this, and if, this, if there was a color mixture on there that you're going to be using for, I don't know, a day, two days, whatever you want to do, um, what you could do, you can just get yourself some cling film and just cling film it. Look, cost-wise, that's probably not, you know, for the planet-wise, it's not realistic. Um, but this is just a nice, easy, wet palette. And it works well. So we'll give you a little, just a little demo. So we just drop a little bit of contrast on there. And uh, this is why I like the this is why I like this palette for because we've got the the little gullies in the side, I can then just dip in there, take some water out. So that could be my clean gully, and then that one could be my brush cleaning gully. So once I've got that in there, like so, I can then take my next paint, just put a dollop on. And then I can just go. And then just keep working it like so. Let's say I want to get a bit creative. I want to change my wet palette. I want to change my color transition to something absolutely bonkers. All of a sudden, you've got dead easy cheap wet palette stop wasting money people seriously stop wasting money um buying wet palettes on all these special sites all they're doing is just taking your hard-earned cash you don't need to waste your money on it. look if you i say before if you've got money to wear you know you can do that make the money shine make the money rain fight a fine fair bit um but i can't so if you're going out and you're buying you know wet palettes in all the parchment paper look if you can afford it fair play but if you can't and you want to stick to a budget or you want to be smart with your money this is the way you want to go anyway thank you very much for watching this video i really do appreciate it hopefully if you like this content please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hopefully i'm going to catch you all again on another painting video tactical video hell we've got some cool stuff coming anyway thank you very much and i'll catch you all soon